have the skills, go ahead and solve for y. Get y alone. If you get y alone, then you can graph this thing. If you can't get y alone, which some people can't. One, because y isn't on the left side and that throws them a loop. Second, y has a number in front of uh, So if, if you know how to do it, do it. Feel good about it. That way when I do like, yeah, I should be teaching this class. Back in the day, some teachers would have students come up and teach the lesson. But that's all at traditional school. When you left traditional school, you gave up your rights to uh, enjoyable education. Now, two hours in a class, twice a week is how it goes. Oh. Here it comes. Hey, software wife, you know what to do. I'm going to do it this way and then I'm going to switch it around and confuse someone. To get y alone, the equal sign is the difference, so I'm going to move you over. Now I'm going to with the 4x, the 6, the 3y is almost by itself. The 6 that I move has to have a different sign. For those who don't get this moving thing and the sign thing, technically what I just did is minus 6, minus 6. What is 4x minus 6? 4x minus 6 is 4x minus 6. You can't combine them. So that's what's happening. But because I know this will turn into this, I don't waste my time with this. I take the 6, I throw them to the other side, and then divide. Okay, what am I going to do with that 3 in front of the y? It's multiplying. I do the inverse. Unit 5, you're going to do this thing called inverse. Um, you'll divide here under all three of them. Last step, you're done. Uh, y equals all the junk on the left. Hey, but Thomas, three doesn't go into four. You don't care. With the letter X, you want it to be a fraction. If they do another one of these, I'm going to skip it because uh, we will have done all versions of it. The version where Y is alone, the version where it's a Y and you move everything over, and the version where there's a number in front of the Y. After that, uh, you should be fine. Here we go. What are you doing? You're a two. When Y is alone, you love this. Oh, please, crap. What? You guys gonna give me credit for circling this minus two, putting a dot at minus two, drawing an arrow up from the four, and I wish I would have me give me a negative number with the four so I can draw it down. The bottom always goes to the right, up four over three. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Take a look at it, see if uh, you got it. Graphing a system of equi graphing a system of equations. Um, is where you do it twice. They'll give you two equations. Perfect. They'll give you two equations. Um, you'll graph it once. You'll graph another line where they hit each other. That's the answer. That's this whole unit, which hopefully I will do in two days. Today's a Wednesday. Finish it on Monday. Take a test on Wednesday. Sweet. I'm gonna shoot for it. Go for it. Oh yeah. Um, and then when I teach calculators on uh, Monday, this becomes even easier. I might even do a little bit of calculator today at this time. Any question on this one? All right, let's see what thing. Not that I give you enough time to ask. What's the next thing they have? Okay. This part here is, is important. Um, good, vocabulary, the whole thing. An equation, that thing we just wrote over there, oh, that is sweet, what are the chances, oh, I thought mine was there, no. An equation produces a picture, so when you see a picture, you should think an equation. In other words, um, this red guy, he was y equals something. Uh, if anyone needs to turn off the air, it's a little chilly, you can. Y equals, like, say, the number in front of the x plus the last number at the end, we can say y equals mx plus b. This guy here, he was, we'll call this uh, equation one, y one. This guy over here, he's y two. He's some equation two. He's an mx plus a b. What you need to feel first is, when you see a picture, there was an equation that produced it. Second thing, and this is what I want you to have, let's say you don't learn anything else from this unit, this thing I'm about to say here is what I want you to have, a gift from me to you. You will hear the phrase system of equations. You can highlight it, you can circle it. What should your brain imagine when you hear that phrase? Either two lines for the graph or two equations. Hey Thomas, what's the system of equations? Oh, I got two of these. That's all it means. We're going to graph, we're going to solve system of equations. Oh, we're going to find out what the answer is to two instead of just one. Do you have an equation? 
You have a system of equations. Equation? System of equations. Um, that's it. So two, I should say two or more, but normally since two, I'll just do two. Two equations. A system. A stereo system. Don't buy a Camry, uh, 2015 Camry. Their uh, sound system is like the 2010 Honda Accord, it's like a round, just doing something. It's a Toyota Corolla. I mean, it should be a Corolla. In any case, um, here's a system of equations. So we put under this system of eek. This is the vocabulary that will make you smart. System of equations, right? what does it mean? I got two lines shooting around. That's it. Or I have two equations that go with this guy. I won't put uh, y3, I won't put the whole thing. You could be Y4. And then his friend over here. Oh man, I wish this was a jail school. I could say like two lines on top of each other. I could say stuff like this in regular school. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. It'd make it exciting. Kids would be like, oh no, that class. But it's regular school, so you go to church and stuff. I go to church. I only do it because you're edgy. You know, if this is Christian school, I would say, you know, I don't know what I would say. In any case, here are two equations. They're just on top of each other. Call you Y5 and Y6. For those who don't get like, what's with the numbers? Because it means the same letter Y, I have to differentiate like that. This equation here is not this one. And the way we do that is by giving a sub Y sub 5, six, uh, Y sub 6. All right, what do they need to know? How many answers are available? This is good. He's a famous guy. He's going to have the most. How many solutions are there? Ooh, solution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solution. You need the vocabulary. If you know the vocabulary, you know what they're asking you. How many solutions are there to this um, system of equations? It's, that's math talk for it. Hey, how many times did these two guys crisscross? Well, only one time. So there's only one solution. And what is that solution? What is the answer? Well, what are the coordinates of this dot where they crisscross? The first one's going to be an x, go over x. And the second one's going to be a y, go up y. If you didn't learn this in algebra, whatever they were teaching to you, this is the concept. So here, I'm going to make up numbers. I'm going to say you're about one, you're about four. One comma four. I made it up in real life. They give you numbers, and you just pick them off the picture. The solution, hey, where do these two lines crisscross? They crisscross at one comma four. That's it. So when they ask you, please find the solution to a system of equations. All they're saying is, <clears throat> hey, find two pictures. Make them crisscross. Where they crisscross, tell us where they did it. Boom, you win. So the solution to your life is, where do you go to school? The system to your equation would be at Sierra and Slover. That's the main street where we crisscross. I don't know what this street name is, if it's anything. Or this one. I don't even know if they have names. Anybody know the street names right here? Where, on the corner where you cross over? It's not fun. Check it out. Let's see if they actually have street names or no. Okay. In any case, um, so he's famous. He has one answer. This dude here. They're parallel, they never touch. Therefore, there are no solutions, no answer. How many answers to this question? None, there are no solutions. What does it look like when you do the actual work? You'll get answers like this. Zero equals seven. And you'll get an answer like, what? Zero. That even makes sense. Right, there's no solution. When you do the actual math work to get the answer, you get something weird like that. And then their friend over here. Um, these can be considered rabbits, you know, whatever. Um, What's the situation here? The lines rest on top of each other. They're the same thing. There's an infinite number of solutions. Infinite. They're not just one answer, two answers, three answers. They touch each other everywhere. They're like touching each other all day long. You see that? I didn't do anything with my face so that on the camera. All right, whatever. Uh, take a look at it, see if you have any questions. It's Geraldi. Geraldi is so good at what he does, they move them up, which is what we do in education. If you're a good teacher, the kids like you, you learn a lot, we take you out of the class and give some other dude a chance who can't teach. So Geraldi, he's walking around. He teaches physics at uh, Fun Town One. Geraldi, he's also the um, MC, has been the MC of the graduations. Solutions are what? what? Solutions are what? Oh, yeah, yeah. This one doesn't have any solutions. This one has one solution. This one has a million solutions. Based on that, write down in your own words what you think a solution is to a system of equations. 
somebody stops you on the street, hey, hey, I heard you go to that school over there. Um, I was wondering, what is a solution to a system of equations? Like, what is that? This is what you would say to them. But, uh, I'm going to turn off the air. This is page two. How many pages are there all together? Three pages all together, right? Three pages? Two? Come on, there three pages all together. We're on the back of page one. Back page one, back page one. They have two problems done for that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, six pages, I can do six pages. Anybody want to say what they told the person, what they wrote? Is problem number three the next one in line? No, example one on the same page. Okay. Right, Example one, solve a system of equations by graphing. Do it a second time by graphing. I'll do it the first time, give you a chance to do it the second time. Again, we're doing it the real way. Um, my thought is on the test, I'll let you use your calculator now that you know how to do it. It's sort of like a um, uh, eraser. For those, anybody here, drive stick, drive stick. It's also in the movie Boys in the Hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you might see that, yeah, if you haven't seen Boys in the Hood. Um, Ricky! Uh, well, driving stick is called manual transmission. In other words, you need to go from first gear to second gear, but you need to tell your car to do it. Um, cars that are automatic, they automatically go up to the next gear when it's necessary, usually at about 3.5 RPM. And if you drive stick, you get to um, take it all the way up to 4 RPM, so it's like, yeah, like that, which could hurt your car, I hear. Um, but if you put it in neutral, you can really grab it, like, put the thing in neutral, like, nom, nom, like that, if you want to race, which I do sometimes. Put the camera in neutral. Oh, yeah, old lady right there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And she's like, you want some of that pop? Yeah. You want some grandma? Come get some. And she, like, crashes, and I'm like, <laughs> So, like, I would do that. No, I wouldn't do that. That's how people die. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, in Fast and the Furious they die, we don't see their funerals, but in real life you have to go to one. Yeah, Fast and the Furious they die like crazy. Uh, I hear they're doing Fast and Furious number 8, or is it 9? Eight. Eight, yeah, another one. How many times do you drive away, you know what I mean? Alright, here we go, um, let's solve this. Solve the system equation, example, algebraically. Then try, oh, don't worry, people drove fast. Okay, yeah. Probably backwards, maybe in a different country, different ethnicity, who knows. Uh, what? Uh, then check, I'm all, I'm not checking nothing. Even in high school I didn't check. Yeah, I hate checking. Let me show you what checking is. This is what, I'm not gonna have you, you know I'm not doing it. X plus seven equals nine. Yeah. Please solve the equation and check. See, you do the little baby thing, yeah. X equals a two. Here's what check means. Check means, now that I have an answer, I gotta put this two in the place of X. So I put x plus 7 equals 9. I put the 2 in the place of that, plus 7. Um, 2 plus 7 is 9. Yup, it checks out. No, I'm not checking nothing. I didn't check it back then, I'm not checking it now. So, when they say check, if you choose to check, that's a good thing. That makes you AP quality, you're like honors class. But after you do all the work to get the answer, why would I have you do that? Let's see. They don't tell you how to solve it. If y is alone, we're going to solve it by substitution. But later on, I'm going to show you how to do it in the calculator. So I need to show you the real way, the hard way. Calculator, you do y equals doo -doo -doo. You'll solve this guy for y. Y equals doo -doo -doo. You'll hit graph to see if they crisscross anywhere. If they do, whoo, you know there's an answer. If the picture is parallel, no answer. If it's just one line, you know there's a million answers. Then you'll hit table, blue button table. You'll look for an X where there are two Y's that are exactly the same number. There's, a, and a, there's an X, there's a, there's a girl, they're, they're twin guys, they're chasing after her. Uh, and when you find the line that has the twin guys who are chasing after the girl, boom, that's going to be your answer. So it's going to be hide and seek on the calculator. But for now, let's teach you the real way so that you don't just punch things on the calculator and not know what you're doing. Step one, uh, Y equals, I'm going to take this Y everything that it represents, and down here where I see the same y, I'm going to replace it with what it represents. This is old school substitution. 
Here it goes, like what is he even talking about? Um, we just have a glue marker so you can see we put it in. Uh, see here we got a 3x, you're going to stay the same. Equals 6, you're going to stay the same. That y, you're going to become a 4x minus 1 plus a 4x minus 1. It's a long process, which is why I'm going to show you the calculator. So what do I do next? I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to find out that x equals 20. I'm going to put a 20 back here in the place of the x to find out what the y is. This is why kids hate system equations, and I don't blame them. Here it comes. If there is no number in front of a parenthesis, it's like a 1 being there that you distribute. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. It doesn't change anything. If there's a number in front or a minus sign, then it makes a difference. If it's a plus sign, nothing. Here we go. Let's see if they can see this. 3x equals 6. Let's get rid of that parenthesis really fast. Plus 4 minus 1. And at this point, now I'm just going to finish the problem. By how am I going to do it? I'm going to move the 1 over to the other side. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. It's the official way of doing it, not me. I'm going to do the 6 plus a 1. Hopefully they see that. The 3x and 4x stay on one side. So many equations is always about uh, separating the good guys from the bad guys. Good guys on the left, bad guys on the right. Guys who have guns, that's the axis. They stay on the left. Um, punks who don't have guns, I mean, uh, the guys who don't have guns, they stay on that side. Once they're separated, you just combine like terms. I'll do them all in blue now, because I'm tired of switching back and forth. You become a seven. You have seven x's. Somebody would put seven x squared? No. If I have three of these plus four of these, now seven of those, you're a seven, x equals a one. Hopefully they can see that. You don't know where the one came from? Check with team. All right, um, half the answer. You need a y to get the other half. Take a look at this, see if you're confused. Later on, you won't even know, each know how to do it. Punch it in the calculator, which you can. You've been doing it for three units. Hey Thomas, what am I gonna do with this one so I get the final answer? I'm gonna come back to the original, find the letter X, and replace it with a one. Let's see if I can put it all into Y equals four parentheses minus one. Put in a one in there, or whatever number I got, and then from there work it out. Four times one is four. Minus 1 is a 3. The answer has two pieces. We just found them. We're going to put them in order. The, uh, I remember this now, but I hated it then. Or, for those who loved it, I guess you love it. I remember this. Miss Johnson. She did so good. Uh, let's see. X is the first one. Y, sure I'll put you in red, is the second one. You do have to um, submit the answer as an ordered pair. The fact that they go in order means X comes before Y in your alphabet, which means in the order pair, the first one has to be X, the second one has to be Y. Why it's called an alphabet, I don't know. If anyone ever finds out, let me know. One other thing, just off the topic, um, anybody here have a DVD of uh, The Lion King? My sons and I want to watch it this weekend. <laughs> we saw the four on Netflix, and The Lion King is in one of them. If you know anybody who has Lion King, I need to borrow it this Saturday. You can get back on Monday or Tuesday or whatever. I need to borrow that. Um, some student gave me some website. I'm nervous about it. Is it Disney? It's not a Disney website then. All right. Um, if you have VHS, we'll take that. VHS. Um, pause. Hey, anybody have a question? Would you get the blue one or would you get the red three? All right. Do this. Take two minutes. See how much of this you can do. On the problem below. On the problem below, do they have one where white? Oh, they give you a fraction. Yeah, so you can be nervous, but go for it anyway. Um, see what you, if you can do an example too. What I did here. Oh shoot! They want a picture. Good news, good news. We did what we were supposed to do just out of order, so this is fine. Go ahead and do it. Oh, so what am I having to do? Is this friend? Is this friend the same thing? Is example four the same thing as example? No. All right, do example four. Still, example four is still cool. It's still what we need to do. 
basically what's happening is you can get the answers to these problems by either drawing a picture or by doing this jump. The picture is the easier of the two. This is the harder of the two. So when you do example four, do as much as the, what I did here. And then I'll try and do four. Let me help you a little bit on for the very first line, 2x plus y. You can get the y on the Sorry about that. I mean, it's not that hard. You put a 2x on the other side. And now you're ready to substitute in this y into the bottom line. So wherever you see a y on that bottom line, uh, minus 4x plus y equals something. Minus 3x. So for those who were like looking at this like, huh, that's a different problem. I just helped you out. Now it looks just like mine. Now I am going to make you feel the pain of these lessons so that when we do the calculated version, which will be way easier, at least you know why you like it. You know, calculator, you punch it in, go to the table, scroll up. Nope, not up there. Scroll down. Oh, there's the answer. That's how easy it's going to be on the calculator. But for now, put in all this junk, write something. In about a minute or so, I'm going to try and do the same thing. Let's check and see if this is the front of page two. Let's back page one. Solve them. On the back of page two is where we're going to start using the calculator. Five A and B will do it the real way. After five A and B, then we'll start using the calculator. So you gotta do it the hard way once. At least we get some other math teachers' class. You've experienced it. If you're having trouble, it's true. You can't work together. Um, I'm about to try and catch up to you in about thirty seconds. So keep doing what you're doing. If I catch up to this cool. I have a faster car than yours, but you're trying. Um, 20 seconds, I'll start writing. Corey would be one of the quarters that's homeless. He just walks. <laughs> but he's good people. He's in uh, second semester pre calculus, so whatever Corey wants to do, I'm down with it. Anybody who's taking second semester pre calculus, after taking first semester pre calculus and second semester of algebra 2 at the same time and passing both while chilling in the seat. Yeah, you gotta have love with that. He has to make himself seem like I'm just a regular dude. Do -do -do. Hey, I'm gonna irritate you and you do 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 do. Yeah, so that he's not like, oh, hi, I'm a smart guy. What's your name? Yeah, so he has to do the persona. And he's on our basketball team. Like, dang. And he's Arabian. Like, dude, can you save some for the rest of us? Yeah, so um, that's why if he's walking around, like, whatever. As long as you're in second semester pre. In other words, after he finished his second semester pre cal. We don't have any more math for him. We've run out. Uh, I don't know if there's a calculus. I don't think we have calculus. I've never heard of it. And I've never heard of anybody taking it. So like, hey. oh, okay, so the computer thing is the best we got. And I think you can still go back to traditional school and be a senior after this year. So I think you might even be a junior. It's like, all right, man, you can walk around as much as you want. Put on a backpack, dab all day. He drew this year. Um, I'm okay with it. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see if I can catch up with them and see what they did. Okay. I'm on. Oh, I see. If I arrow down, it makes stuff go away. Oh, you All right, see if I can catch up with somebody. If anybody knows how to turn on the air, we have to be going outside, boom, push it down two numbers. Alright, come on, come on. Oh shoot, were we just coming there? Um, well hopefully they'll fast forward it at that point. Alright, let's see, step one. Alright, um, blue, sure we'll go red one. Red it is. They're supposed to fix this board probably another two weeks or whatever. The bulbs cost a lot. You gotta ship out to get them. 
uh, 2x, you're at minus, how about minus 9, 2x, oops, 2x. Wherever I see a y, I'm going to put 9 equals minus 2x. <clears throat> you are a plus a 9 minus 2x. I'll put you in parentheses to begin with, though. Eventually, you won't need to. If it's a plus sign, if it's a minus sign, you need a parentheses. But we'll keep doing the same thing, so it's the same. Next row, 9 minus 2x. This is a 3 minus 4x. The 9 goes to the other side, giving me a minus 3 and a 9. He goes positive here, he's negative over here. There's a minus 4x and a minus 2x. That becomes a minus 6x, or someone may have just put a 4. Use your... Oh, no calculators yet. We'll pass those out in a second. Uh, minus 12, because if you're not on positive and negative, you're out of luck. Uh, minus 6. x equals a 2. Uh, where are you up here? 2. Sure, I'll put you in there. y equals a 9 minus a 2 and another 2. That produces a 4. Uh, it's a fiver. In parentheses, you got a 2 and a 5 because x comes before y. The uh, picture version of this thing. Picture version. Let's see if I can get the picture version. If I can get the two y's alone, I can do the picture version. So this top row is going to be y1. It'll make you y1, will make you y2. y1 is already ready for us. The 9 and the 2x. How about y2? y2. If I put the 4x on the other side, y2. I'm just going to write y2 to see if they can handle it. Put the 4 on the other side and make it the opposite sign. So a positive 4x to see if they can handle y2. Uh, negative 3 plus 4x. I got to draw those two pictures. Here's the rule. The picture version of things, which is what the other problem wants us to do, which I make a sign for homework, which means you may never do it in your life, um, is before I do all this work, all this writing, check and see if you can graph them. If you can graph them, uh, getting the answer is no big deal. Let's see the first guy. I'm going to circle the nine on you. Where are you, nine? Please let it go down some. Um, and then I'm going to go, I got a boom, blue, let's go blue. Or green. I gotta go turn you into a fraction, which means I'm gonna go down two into the right one. The bottom number always goes to the right. The top, if it's negative, goes down, if it's positive, goes up. Down two over one. Down two over one. Connect the dot. Oh, shoot. If your picture is off, your answer may be off, but this was the y1, which equals 9 minus 2x. Take a look at that, see if you're confused, see if you went too fast. See if you remember whatever teacher taught you this in algebra. Hope they did, they did a good job. We're now just reminding you what they did. This guy here, let's put a, a one on the four. That means I'm gonna go up four into the right one. Circle that three at each two dots. Where's the minus three? Where are you? Minus three. Getting one dot is way easy. It's called a y-intercept. I try not to say that word. It's really like, like I, I've never been able to tell what the y-intercept is. Go up four over one. Up four over one. One, two, three, four. Four swishes over one. Connect the dots. Oh yeah, my picture's gonna be messed up. Something, right? Check it. Let me draw my picture. I'm waiting for a two comma five. Let's see if I two comma five. Straight line, straight line, go, go, go. Go, 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 boom. Oh, close enough, let's see if it does it. How can you know if you did something wrong? Because where those two lines crisscross, it has to be the same answer we get when we do all this junk. Shoot. One, two. Which is why this one you kind of need rulers. Oh yeah. All right. So, which is why I'm not going to teach the graphing way. You need to hear it. So if some teacher says solve the system of equation by graphing, you know, oh, get the two lines, see where they crisscross. That's what it's supposed to be. But when I give you calculators, 
which is where we're going, 2 comma 5. The only reason you'll do any of this other stuff is if the numbers, you just can't find them on the calculator. You know, forget that, I'm just going to solve them by substitution. Forget that, I'm just going to graph them and get it where they crisscross. And, um, all right, pause, take a look at it. See how you feel. Okay, do it. Pause that, um, on pause that way, um, not the San Diego Chargers. Some, uh, some electricity thing. I wonder if Thomas Edison lived over here. All right, these two will cancel. Same number of opposite sign. This guy, 12 plus a negative 3, you're what, a 9 or 8 and a 9? You're going to be a 9. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, thank you for that. All right, put the 9, the Y. I'm going bottom row. Why is he going bottom row? Because I don't want to mess around with this negative 3. I want to do that one. Do you get to choose? Yeah, yeah, you get to choose. <laughs> I don't know which one you want, whichever one. But I don't know which one, then just choose one, it doesn't matter. Um, 3x minus the 3y uh, equals a negative 9. Check the clock. Finish this one in, uh, in about a minute. Ask questions. It's being videotaped so they can watch it again if they wanted to. Tick, tick, tick. See how many different names for poop there is up there. It's a big door. I don't know why they spent all that money on the heaviness of the door. They could have made it hollow. It's not like it's a paddock room. I never saw the movie with uh, the lady and her son. Um, oh, was it her daughter? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. somebody's trying to get in the house. They hit the button. He's yeah. trying to get in. She shoots him at the end, yeah? yeah. Spoiler alert. No, he, he, she can't lose. She's the star. She paid for the movie. Uh, what's her name? Uh, she's in Silence of the Lamb. Um, Yeah. What is her name? Ellen DeGeneres. No. <laughs> what is her name? I don't know why. Jodie Foster. She was a uh, child actress. She grew up and now she's a big star. Um, yeah, some guy's trying to break into the house. Uh, by the way, real houses do have it. Now, my house doesn't. I don't know real house, but people who are like in real houses like Beverly Hills, they have a panic room. You go in there, someone's going to do something. Boop, hit the button. And they can't get in and kill you, I guess. Um, so, someone breaks into the house, they're trying to get, uh, what are they, are they trying to steal stuff, or are they trying to get the lady? Monica, do you know? Um, they're trying to get the lady, I think, uh, safe. She's a famous person, like in the movie, like she's like a, uh, a senator, she's she a, just, and they just want her money? But someone sees them, they, no witnesses, that kind of thing, yeah? Yeah. Uh, all right. By the way, I know nothing happened to her. Or to the daughter. You know how I know that? We'd be, we'd be sad. A movie doesn't want you to be sad. Even when people die, they want you to feel like, like um, the kid who died in uh, The Revenant, the son. We're not sad because the dad is going to avenge it. I didn't see it, but I didn't see it here at the Bible. Any questions? All right. Um, pause it. We're now in calculator time. Two for y equals. Once we get them at y equals, your task is going to be Please put the answer, um, put the two equations in the calculator. So what is he talking about? Step one, um, you are 9x minus y equals a 12. We're going to get the same answer. Oh shoot, the 6 and the 42. 2 and a 1. Sheesh. Fine, whatever. Um, now you see why, uh, let's see, when I move you over, here are minus 6x plus y. This is technically the easy version, but you determine what's easier for you. Step one, uh, I'll do the bottom one. Move the 6 to the other side. We're trying to solve for y. Once we get y alone, we can put it in the calculator. You get to be um, y equals 6 minus plus a 6x. y equals 6 and a 6x. How about 13 minutes? I'll give you 13. Minus, where are you? Plus 6x. Why is it a plus? Wasn't it a minus to begin with? Yes, when you move to the other side, it changes signs. Uh, this guy up here, he's a double move. Not only is the 9 moving over to become negative, but we have to do something that's negative 1. 9x. This is for the calculated version. Leave me with a, a minus. 
minus y, 12 minus uh, 9x. This minus um, sign, we have to divide it under everybody like this. One for you, one for you, and one for you. What does that give us? I wish I had space over here. It gives us a positive y equals a negative 12 over a positive 9. That just seems like calculus. Yeah, it is. Just gotta get the y alone. So this is an option. Get the y alone. Once you get the y alone, then you can put stuff in the calculator. So maybe if that's as much work, then just do it this way. There it comes. Uh, do me a favor in your calculator. Put in uh, y equals negative 12. When you hit a negative button, you can't hit the minus sign. It has to be that negative right below the number 3. It's in a parent in a uh, parentheses. Yeah, it's in parentheses. Y equals negative 12 plus 9x. Punch that in. Hit enter. Go down to the second equation. And if you're not sure, look on someone's calculator like, hey, you're going to put in, um, for the second equation, um, y equals 6 plus 6x. Okay. Do a graph or table? Um, it's ultimately going to be a table, but hit graph, see if the lines are zigzagging. Like, are they parallel? Uh, again, if you need someone to help you punch that in, see if we do that. Uh, they're crisscrossy or they're parallel. Uh, that's bad news. All right. Next thing you're gonna do, blue button table. Now this is a bad example to do it on. We're gonna do it again on that one so you can see how it happens twice. By the time the hand gets on the chin, someone will get to leave. Hey, what is it that you're looking for on the table? For anyone who's down at the table, um, try and get there. There is an X. You need to arrow up. This is gonna be terrible because it's a 42. Arrow up um, 10 times to see if any of the X's have a partner where the two Y's are exactly the same number. Um, six. Yeah, six is, the, six is the one. Yeah. Here's the rule for this version. When you do this version, um, and by the way, when you find uh, when you do this version, you get to the table. You will find uh, x equals zero. You will arrow up to x equals positive ten. If you don't see the answer, you will arrow down to x equals negative ten. If your answer isn't between x is either a ten positive ten or a negative ten somewhere between there, that means you're probably going to do it by hand because the answer is going to be so weird that you have to go up too high, so you don't know how high do I go. Um, so what is it that you just did here? You did the equation, plug them in. You went to the x table, and here's what um, you see. x, y, y, at 6, you should see a 42 and a 42. Once you see the x that has two guys chasing after it, they're twin brothers, they're chasing after it, this is the winner. How do you write down my answer? You write down one X and only one of the two um, Y's. Take a look at it and see if you follow that. I'm going to have you do it one more time, or two more times. Do me a favor. Um, let's see if I can back up to one of the original problems that we got the answer to. Huh? If, if they have the same number but opposite sides, is this still okay? Uh, that has to be the exact, uh, that is the uh, 